Hey, do you folks know that Chatwin spends fifty thousand dollars a year keeping these parks up to date? That's fifty thousand Canadian dollars, which is probably something like forty-two thousand U.S. But we don't use U.S. We use Canadian, so fifty thousand bucks a year. That's out of our pockets. You think it's worth it? Absolutely. How about you? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I absolutely. agree. <laughs> okay, folks, get ready to play. Here's Ken Play Park. All right. Well, we're here to celebrate the reopening of Finn Park. You know, this park has been here for a long time. Some of our older folks remember playing here and hanging out here when they were kids. But, um, you know, like I said a few moments ago, Chetwin spends about $50,000 a year on uh, refurbishing its, uh, its play parks. And this year, Kin Park got the benefit of that. And um, we're really pleased to see this new facility here. It's safe. And kids are not going to get slivers and uh, get slivers when they slide down. So uh, we're very pleased to see it operational and the, and the kids out there. I think they're having fun. Each year the uh, District of Chetwin has allotted a certain amount of money to start replacing equipment in our parks or upgrading them. And uh, this year the money went towards Kin Park. Um, it's our third park we have done. We're three years into the program. And yeah, uh, we ordered the equipment. It came in, but unfortunately you need a, a certified carpenter to sign off on the equipment so it's CSA approved and that's where um, Kiana came in we hired uh, TBK Watson Carpentry I just wanted to make sure I said that right yeah. Kiana <laughs> and uh, he put this equipment together for us and then we painted all the existing equipment and uh, kind of made a little bit of upgrades with some color and uh, the kids from the parks department even put handprints all over everything, kind of personalized a little bit of stuff. And uh, yeah, we upgraded this park. I'd like to thank mainly the district of Chetland just for um, really put it, pouring some money into the parks for the kids in the, in the town. I think it's really important because our parks were starting to look their age. This park here is apparently the oldest park Chetland has. Yeah, so onward and upward to the next park next year. <laughs>